um, children love symbols. Uh, that's a way we teach our children. Um, every religion has got a symbol um, that signifies the importance of that. Within the Islamic concept, uh, we have many, many symbols. However, not all of them are holistic or holy in which we will think that we are worshipping those symbols because it does not mean worshipping the symbols. So, for example, to me, I love the crescent, I love the, the new moon shape. Uh, it's, even though it's associated to Islam, it's not a holistic symbol. And the reason that I like because um, as a Muslim, we follow the lunar calendar. And itself, looking at the moon, it brings peace and tranquility to me. Uh, that is how God Almighty has created the beautiful moon. So whenever you look at the moon, you feel this tranquility and peace of mind. So to me, I like looking at the new moon. It brings that tranquility and peace of mind. At the same time, it uh, reminds me that the new, new month has started, whereas from the Greek calendar, we know it goes according to the solar calendar, where Islam represents the lunar calendar. So uh, I, I know my, my students and my children over here studying at Abu Bakr Islamic Center. They love the crescent because whenever we have a new moon or Eid festival, uh, they're designing the crescent, even though it's not holistic, but they love it. So to me, it is a sign that God has created the moon, but at the same time, it gives me peace and tranquility and looking at the moon. Yeah. So there aren't any specific symbols for Islam, um, but I have brought in a few different types of items which could be symbolic to our religion. Um, so we've got here a prayer mat. Now this is not like a one and only um, prayer mat. We've got hundreds of different types of designs. But as a Muslim, we pray five times a day at different times throughout the day. And usually we would have this placed on the floor and um, we would pray on it, as I mentioned, five times a day. But when we pray, we usually pray towards the Kaaba, which is in Saudi Arabia, in Mecca. And this isn't a very good photo, uh, picture, sorry, but it's just this black box you can see over here. So Muslims around the world, wherever you are, when you pray, you pray towards, uh, it's called Qibla, but it's the Kaaba, it's called the Kaaba. Uh, another uh, item that I've brought in today for you to see is the uh, prayer beads, uh, also known as tasbih. So we would recite our prayers on there. Um, and I think this has got probably 100 beads on it. There's, uh, we can do 100, 500, 50, it doesn't really matter, but it's a good way to keep count of how many you've done. Um, I've got some hats here as well. So a boy or a man, um, they're recommended to wear a hat when they pray. Um, so I brought that in. For a woman then, um, it's the hijab, so I'm wearing it today for you to see, um, just to wrap it around, it's just a scarf around the head, and it's just a, a form of modesty. And the final thing that I have is the, the holy book, the Qur'an, and this is written in Arabic, and it's very important to us because it's our holy book and um, the word of God.